A US Air Force fighter jet recently took to the skies with a mix of missiles that could make it the most heavily armed fighter ever. The new F-15EX Eagle II, also known as the Super Eagle, carried a mixture of three JASM cruise missiles and 12 AMRAAM air-to-air -air missiles, a potent combination that is likely unmatched in the world of fighter jets. The F-15EX is living up to its promise of being a missile truck hauling large numbers of missiles into battle in ways that stealthy fighters cannot. On August 30th, Air and Space Forces magazine reported the U.S. Air Force's 53rd wing had flown a new 15EX Eagle II with three joint air-to-surface standoff missiles, JASM. The tests, which took place at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida, also saw the F-15EX successfully launch all three JASM missiles. Not only that, the F-15EX flew with a potent air-to-air -air missile arsenal, embarking a whopping 12 AMRAAM long-range air-to-air missiles. The F-15EX Eagle II is the latest version of the F-15 Eagle fighter jet. Originally designed as an air superiority fighter, the F-15 first flew in 1972. Those early F-15s looked remarkably like the ones still in service today, with capabilities that would make many other fourth-generation fighters think twice about engaging in an aerial scrap. With two Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-100 afterburning turbofan engines capable of unleashing a whopping 23,500 pounds of thrust with afterburners, the F-15 was so powerful it could break the speed of sound while flying straight up. With the jet's top speed maxed at Mach 2.5 and an advanced AN-APG-63 nose-mounted radar, the F-15 could spot even low-flying enemy planes at a range of up to 200 miles. Importantly, this radar system was also the first to use a programmable system processor that would allow for some updates and improvements without having to change out hardware. But the F-15 Eagle didn't just offer speed and firepower, it was also purpose-built for long-haul missions because it could carry three 600-pound external fuel tanks that gave it a range of 3,000 miles. No aerial refueling needed. This incredible range, coupled with the F-15's ability to cruise without afterburners at Mach 0.9, meant that the F-15 could nearly traverse the world at a moment's notice. After less than a year of testing, the F-15 was put into serial production, first joining the roster for the U.S. Air Force, as well as allied nations like Israel and Japan. After the coming years, Israeli, Saudi, and American pilots would continue to add to the F-15's impressive win streak, logging 104 air-to-air -air victories without a single eagle loss to enemy fighters. The list of fighters shot down by F-15s ranged from a spectrum of MiG iterations, Mirage F-1s, one transport plane, and, of course, one Iraqi attack helicopter. In order to achieve this incredible record, the F-15 saw continuous upgrades, with the F-15C incorporating a newer and even more capable radar apparatus and new Pratt & Whitney engines. Some were even equipped with a radar-fed joint helmet-mounted queuing system that allowed pilots to acquire targets even faster. By 1986, the fighter had proven so capable that the decision was eventually made to field another new variant of the platform the aforementioned F-15E Strike Eagle. While other F-15s were built to dominate air-to-air -air engagements, the F-15E leveraged the jet's range, speed, and ordnance capabilities to become one of the most capable medium-range precision strike aircraft in America's arsenal. With the B-1B Lancer absorbing the F-111 Aardvark's supersonic bomber responsibilities. A multi-role version, the F-15E Strike Eagle, first flew in 1986. The F-15EX is the latest and greatest version, first taking to the skies in 2021. The Eagle II resembles previous versions externally, but inside it's a very different story. The fighter includes digital fly-by-wire flight controls, large interactive cockpit touchscreens, the fastest mission computer ever installed on a fighter jet, the Eagle Passive Active Warning and Survivability System for electronic protection against enemy air defenses, the Joint Helmet-Mounted Queuing System, and it's the first to use the Open Mission System for easy software and hardware upgrades. 
The F-15EX is dimensionally identical to previous F-15s, but can carry considerably more firepower. The F-15A, F-15C, and F-15E maxed out at eight air-to-air -air missiles, typically a combination of shorter-range AIM-9 Sidewinder Infrared Guided Missiles and larger, longer-range AIM-7 Sparrow and later AIM-120 AMRAAM Radar Guided Missiles. The secret to the F-15EX's huge payload boost are its new Advanced Missile and Bomb Ejector Rack, Amber Missile Racks. These new racks, which carry missiles and bombs and provide data links between the aircraft and the munition, allow the F-15EX to carry 50% more air-to-air -air missiles, for a total of 12 in all. Thanks to Amber, the F-15EX has a total of 23 weapon stations, compared to the 17 on the older F-15E. In terms of raw capability, the F-15EX, flown in the Eglin tests, does appear to be the most heavily armed fighter jet of all time. Even assuming a low probability of kill of 50% per AMRAAM missile, the F-15EX, as configured, could knock down at least six enemy fighters. Its three JASM cruise missiles, each with a range of 250 miles and stealthy shaping to keep them off enemy radars, mean the F-15EX can strike three heavily defended targets with a high level of accuracy and confidence. Other aircraft can carry more bombs or more explosive by weight. The older F-15E Strike Eagle can carry up to 15 Mark 82 500-pound unguided bombs or five 2,000-pound laser-guided bombs. Concept artwork for the FA-18EF Super Hornet has it carrying up to 14 air-to-air -air missiles. But in each case, the aircraft is heavily weighted towards air-to-air -to -air combat or air-to-ground combat. The F-15EX's fighting load is balanced, allowing it to unleash its JASM missiles at enemy targets and then immediately proceed to take on a totally different mission like engaging enemy aircraft. Why can the F-15EX carry such a ridiculously overpowered load while the F-35 Lightning II can't? Stealth fighters must carry all of their weapons internally to preserve the advantages of their anti-radar design. Hanging bombs, missiles, targeting pods, and fuel tanks off the wings and fuselage of an F-35 makes them much more detectable by enemy radars. The F-35 only has so much room inside its internal weapons base. The F-15EX isn't a stealthy design, so it is free to carry whatever it wants, with the caveat that the more weapons there are on board, the slower the plane will fly and the less maneuverable it will be. The F-15EX Eagle II has been proposed as a missile truck for the lightly armed F-35, launching AMRAAM air-to-air -air missiles against targets a hidden stealth fighter can see. Alternatively, it could launch air-to-ground weapons against targets discovered by an F-35 flying silently above the battlefield. While a missile truck may not sound as glamorous or sexy as a stealth fighter, it could win wars in the future when the Air Force must fight outnumbered thousands of miles from home. What are your thoughts on the F-15EX Eagle II? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.